hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe i'm starting off with freshly washed hair if there are white particles in my hair it's because i did a natural protein treatment and it does leave residue in my hair i learned how to do this um treatment from omabel tv i will link her page her channel in the description box So to moisturize my face today, because as you guys can see, my face is looking ashy. I'm using the Elf Hydrating Moisturizer, and I just apply that over my face. I like to use this when I'm not using natural products like shea butter, because it's lightweight and still gives me that glow. To moisturize my hair, I'm using this African Best Hair Cream. And I'm trying to show you guys that it's basically finished. But I can't give you like a review on this product because this was like my first time using it. I see it belonged to my cousin and she left it in my house and it's finished. So I guess she loves it. So you guys should try it out. And I'm using the Cantu Leave-In Condition, Conditioner. I'm using the Shea Butter one. And I'm using castor oil on my hair and I'm using the one from Noun Solutions. After that, I comb out my afro with an afro comb. So I like to use an afro comb um, when I want my hair to be straighter because it, it comes out the curls in my hair. When I'm trying to comb my hair, I like to use a white tooth comb. So when I'm done combing my hair, what you need to lay your hair down is gel. And I'm using the Echo Styler Gel. Sorry you guys can't see the back of my hair properly. And I should have done the whole way around. But yeah, I apply gel. Then I use a small comb to comb out the gel. Then I use the hard side of my hairbrush to slick my hair down. So I like to create a partition in my hair, then hold it in place with the gel. So when I'm done with that, I take it bit by bit and then to spread the gel, I use the small comb and comb it down. For slicker results, it's better to do it bit by bit, but it was about 3 a.m. in the morning. I usually make my videos that I'm not tired. When I start making the videos, I get sleepy. But anyway, yeah. So I I was just doing it in big chunks. So it's my recommendation is that you partition your hair in smaller chunks, put the gel on it, comb it down, then brush it. That way, the finished product will be more finesse. <laughs> and I don't do this often because it really it breaks your hair a lot. But you know, you're using a really can you guys hear my tummy? You know, you're using a really tiny comb, so it's going to break your hair out a lot. So I don't like to do this often, but sometimes I want my hair to be laid down and slick so I end up doing this As you can see, I, was, I tried to do the whole top in a big chunk and it was barely being down, but I eventually ended up doing it little by little and 
he ended up being more presentable and quick. So I'm just going to tie my hair down with a silk cap and let it sit overnight. The finished product was actually two nights after, but well, you guys can kind of see what my hair looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And to see my previous hair videos, you can click on the i button and it will take you there. Thank you guys.